giant belched forth the roar so hot. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? <clears throat> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The Cutter of Casteldaccia too. Moral victory, that's what counts. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Fighting, elf guardian gladiators. But close, but not quite, as you will soon see. <laughs> Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar with only some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells coming from the walls? Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. We have to help him. 